Hey guys, I'm LB, and today we're going to be doing the Quantum Entanglement series. I even remember these uh, being very cool. It's where you move two cubes at the same time. But I don't know if there's a Quantum Entanglement 3 or more because Steam Community is currently down. So if there is, those will be in a separate video. But we're going to do these two in this video. Now, I don't really remember too much about these. I kind of remember them. But yeah, you'll see. So, the idea is that these cubes are entangled, or whatever, and when you move one, it moves the other. So, like this. Oh, I thought this is really cool. Pretty simple. I'm not sure what the point of the laser is, but yeah. Wait, what do I look like? Okay, just the normal thing. I didn't know if I looked like anything special or not. Okay, let's see. Now here's the cool thing. See how... There's not really anything there. When they go through portals, it like it's like it teleports to you. Which is pretty cool. And it hits the button there. Oh, I... That was stupid of me. I'm an idiot. I... I tried to not do that, but then I just walked into it anyway, like an idiot. Hope I don't have to do the first part again. Oh, I do. <laughs> well, now I know I have to use quick saves in this level. I'm used to not having to do that in hammer levels because they put in save points and stuff, but oh well. Let's do it up here. Guy over here. And how about we stand by the door this time? Get in there. Okay, so this guy is trapped in the box. But we can put him there. Thing. Let's see. These, uh, death grids look a bit different than normal. Let's quick save here real quick. I think that's sufficient. Yeah, okay, now I just have to do this as myself. It's a pretty cool idea. Please do not feed the cat. What? Schrodinger's cat? Okay, so let's do Quantum Entanglement 2 now. And like I said, Steam Community is down right now, so I have no idea if there's a Quantum Entanglement 3 or 4 or anything like that, so... If there are, they'll be in a separate video. <laughs> it's got a little cat! <laughs> it's got a little cat on there, that's cute! Ooh, I remember these being a bit challenging. Let's see what this does. Is that 
it's up here. More stuff. Man, this is bringing back memories. That 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 would launch it back at me. Okay, if I'd done that early. Okay, that turns the light bridge on. Oh, okay. Somehow I messed up the light. What? What's the deal with that? Oh, that's the. That's the aim assist for the faceplate. That's where the faceplate sends you when it's trying to aim my portal. It actually placed my portal upside down. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, the light bridge messed me up, but... Yeah, it actually places the portal upside down for whatever reason when it, when it does the aim assist. That's crazy. Now you know it's possible to place portals upside down on a wall. Okay, now where do we actually want to go with this? Uh, I assume up there, right? Okay. So now we get to see what's over here. for a second to drop the cube off. Wait, what? Come on. Where's the cube at? There it is. Okay, so now we've got the cube in there. I guess we just leave. The cat is alive. Ratman sounds. Yep, definitely a reference to Schrodinger's cat. Okay, now that we've got this, I think we should be able to leave the room. Yeah, I think that was the only reason for us to come in here. Yeah, okay. there. I guess 
guess that works.
Oh, I see. It's that. Okay. Really? Has this always been here? I don't remember it always being here. Okay, so, don't know what those portal surfaces were for, but obviously, didn't need them. Okay. Well, like I said, Steam Community is down right now, so I don't know if there's a Quantum Entanglement 3 or 4 or anything like that. So, if there is, there will be in a separate video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in another episode.